in our church, in our midst. Thank you for never putting us to shame. Thank you for always being there for us. Accept all our things. We ask that as we're going to do this present worship, come and use it to bless our people. In the mighty name of Jesus. We exalt your name. Be thou glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We give you glory, Lord, as we worship you. I 
Let us continue to be in the attitude of worship. Let us continue to appreciate our God for another day in his presence, for what he is, our redeemer, our healer, our provider, our peace. Let us continue to appreciate him. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your holy name. Thank you for another day in your presence. Thank you for another opportunity you have given to us to come before you. Father, we worship you tonight. We adore you. You alone are worthy, our Redeemer, our Provider. You are all sufficient for us. Daddy, we thank you tonight. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. We give you all the glory, all the honor tonight. We give you all the adoration. Thank you, Daddy. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Honor, O Israel, Yeshua. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, no, it's Father, we thank you, Son, we bless your holy name. Holy Spirit, we thank you tonight. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Thank we you worship Lord. you, Lord. We adore you tonight. Thank you, Lord. You are the Jesus. only one that is worthy of our praise, Thank our you, healer, our healer, our mm. deliverer, our provider. Mm. Daddy, we worship you tonight. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for what you are doing right mm. now. We thank you for the journey of this year from the beginning, from January up to this mm. moment. We got a few days more to come to the end of this year. Father, we thank you for being for being with us. Thank you for taking good care of us. Daddy, we bless your holy name tonight. Thank you for knowing you. Thank you for showing us who you are. Thank you for showing yourself strong on our behalf. Daddy, we worship you tonight. We thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you for everything you are to us. We bless you, Lord. We adore you tonight. Thank you for where we have started tonight. We thank you for where we are now. We thank you for what we are yet to do. Daddy, we bless your holy name tonight. Thank you for your children that we are, you have used to lead us in praise and worship tonight. Father, as we continue, go with us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Bring this platform into your hand right now. Father, we ask you, Daddy, you will take control of this platform in the name of Jesus. We Amen. sanctify this platform with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Authority over every contrary power, every power of the wicked ones that may want to manifest, that may want to interfere with our garden tonight. 
Father, we cast them out in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Blood Satan, of we Jesus. bind you, we cast you out. The blood of Jesus is against you in the name of Jesus. Father, Amen. everything we are going to do here tonight, Father, take control. Manifest the spirit of the living God. Move in our midst tonight. Let Amen. your fire fall in our midst tonight in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. Father, as many as we partake in this garden tonight, Father, bless every one of us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your power flow tonight in the name of Jesus. Let Amen. the power of deliverance fall upon us tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, come and bless us tonight in the name of Jesus. Whatever Amen. we find tonight, let it be bound in the name of Jesus. And Amen. whatever we lose tonight, let them remain loose in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you. We bless your holy name. As we continue now, Father, go with us in the name of Jesus. And at the end of this meeting tonight, Father, let all the glory be yours. And let all the blessing be ours in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good evening, Hallelujah. everyone. Uh, we are blessed tonight to be part of this gathering tonight. And let's open our book today, uh, the book of Isaiah, just to appreciate God, just to know who our God is, to know who we are in Christ Jesus as well. Isaiah 43, we, which we are all very, very familiar with. Hallelujah. I will read a few verses there. It says from verse 1, but now, Thus says the Lord, who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel. We can put our name there anyway because we are the children of God today. The Israel, they are, they are, they are the chosen people of God, but through the blood of Jesus Christ, we are joined here with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Because God has formed us. God has created us for a purpose. And okay. he who formed you, hallelujah, fear not, for I have redeemed you. We, God has redeemed us from every cause that the enemy from, that the enemy have placed upon us. We are the redeemed of the Lord. I have called you by your name. God knows you by your name. He knows me by my name. Hallelujah. Even though uh, when we came to this world, they gave us the name, but we are named after our Lord Jesus Christ, we are joined here. We are royal priesthood, people that are called to praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We have been redeemed from the power of darkness. These are the children of God. Hallelujah. He says, you are mine. We are his. We are the people of God today. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And, and through, the, through the rivers... They will not overflow you. When you walk in the in the uh, when you walk through the through the fire, you shall not be burned, for nor shall the flame king scorch you. We are going to appreciate God here tonight and say, Father, we thank you from the beginning of this year. Thank you for what we are being through. We've been through so many things. We've been through so many dark periods. But God has been so faithful. He has redeemed you and me from every power of the enemy. He has redeemed us from the hand of the wicked ones. He said when we are going through challenges of life, he will be with us. He will not allow the, those challenges to overwhelm us, to overcome us. Let us open our mouth tonight and say, Daddy, we thank you from the beginning of this year. Thank you for being our deliverer, for being our redeemer. Thank you for keeping us up to this moment. We thank you for redeeming us from the hand of the wicked one. Thank you because we are still able to come before you. We are still able to stand before you tonight. It's not by our doing. It's not by our power. But it's because you love us. It's because of the love that you have for us. It's because of, of, of who, who you are in our life. You are our creator, our redeemer. That is why we are standing here tonight. Daddy, we bless your holy name tonight. We thank you because you do not allow the problem of this world to overcome us. You do not allow the, 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 the trouble of this world to overpower us. Daddy, we thank you. So many things has happened. So many things is still happening right now. But we are standing in your presence here tonight because of you, 
Daddy, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord, for redeeming us, for healing us, for providing for us, for everything you are to us. Daddy, we exalt you tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanks. Hallelujah. He said, for I am the Lord your God, the only one of Israel, your Savior. Israel. Uh, he is the only one, the only one of Israel. No one like him. There's no one, no one like him. He who is like our God, no one like him. Let us appreciate him. Show him your appreciation. That daddy, I thank you. I worship you, Lord. It's because of you we are here today. It's because of you we are standing here today. We cannot, we cannot, we we cannot underestimate what you are in our life. We cannot <laughs> underestimate what you are doing. For us, Daddy, we thank you tonight. We bless your holy name. We do not take you for granted for what you are. Thank you, Daddy. We bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. He said, I gave Egypt for your ransom, Ethiopia and Seba in your place. Hallelujah. God, that have, that have given so many things as our ransom. And we are still standing here today. Many people have gone. Many people are no more. But we are no better than them. It's because of God we are standing. We do not take the grace of God. We do not take the mercy of God for granted in our life. Daddy, we thank you. So many challenges in our life. So many trouble we've been through. But God has brought us through. Daddy, we bless your holy name tonight. We thank you. We bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. We adore you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. He said in verse 21, which I want us to take very, uh, 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 very serious. He said, these people I have formed for myself. They shall declare my praise. God has formed us to declare his praise. Amen. This is the reason why God formed us. God loves us to declare his praise, to say, Father, we thank you. Remember when the children of Israel, when they came out, when they when they went through the, you know, came out of the Egypt, they went through the the, 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 the dry land in the Red Sea. They were singing, they were praising God, they were dancing. They said, Who is like unto our God? The one that have made the horse and the and the horse rider to drown in the Red Sea. That is the God we are. He wants to he want us to declare his praise. He wants us to declare who he is in our life. So that the people of the world will know that we, we, we have a living God. We have a God that can deliver. We have a God that, that is well able to, to do, to bring to pass what he has said. And we are going to say, Daddy, we thank you tonight. Daddy, we praise your holy name tonight. Thank you for creating us for that purpose. The purpose why we should create, why we should praise you. Daddy, we thank you. Daddy, we bless your holy name. The help us to know you better, to know how to praise you better. Even when, when things are not going the way we want it to be. Father, help us to know how to appreciate you, to show forth your praise. Daddy, we thank you. We thank you tonight. We know we cannot thank you enough. We know we cannot show all our appreciation enough, but we know you are, you are a good father. You are, you, are, you are a good savior. You love us so much that you gave us your only begotten son to die for us. Daddy, we thank you tonight. Daddy, we bless your holy name. We praise you, Lord. We pray, Lord, that our, uh, your, uh, the, the praise will not cease in our mouth in the name of Jesus. We will continue to praise you. We will continue to exalt you every day, every moment of our life in the name of Jesus. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Father, we pray, Lord, that your praise will continually be in our mouth in the name of Jesus. We will not cease to praise you as long as we are still breathing. Father, we pray, Lord, that you give us that strength, Lord, to continue to praise you, to continue to appreciate you every moment, every second of our life in the name of Jesus. Daddy, we thank you. We bless your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have thanks. Hallelujah. Amen.
so we are going to ask that tonight. Is there any area of our life that we miss it? Father, we pray, Lord, that you forgive us. Father, because of your blood, because of the blood that you shed for us on the cross, have mercy upon us tonight. First John chapter five, verse fourteen. Say, now this is the confidence that we have in that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Hallelujah. The, the, this place make it uh, clear to us that if we ask anything according to the will of God, he hears us. We know the will of God. The will of God is his word for us. Amen. And what Amen. does he say in his word? The word of God says whatever, uh, when somebody gives the will, the will is, is for that person. But now the will of God for us is his word. So when we pray according to the word of God, God hears us. We might not see the immediate answer, but we have the petition that we have, you know, that God hear our prayer and the answer will surely come. Amen. Amen. So we are going to pray tonight and we are going to look at, we have so much confidence in the word of God that whenever the spirit of God lays something in our heart, and that is when you, you, we can pray effectively. The word of God will help us to pray effectively. It will help us to pray according to the will of God. That is the, you know, that is how, uh, how we can have the confidence in the, in, you know, in our prayer that this is the word of God. This is what he says. And when he says it, and it will surely come to pass in the name of Jesus. I will see where Exodus chapter uh, 13 tonight, the book of Exodus chapter 13. The book of Exodus chapter 13. No, 33, Exodus 33. Hallelujah. Exodus 33. We are going to read. Um, I will read, then we pray along. Then verse 33. It says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Exodus 33. Then the Lord said to Moses, Depart and go up from here. You and the people whom you have brought out of the land of Egypt, to the land of which I swore to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying, To your descendants, I will give it. Hallelujah. God Hallelujah. has promised them that, Look, this land I have given it to you. 
Now go and possess it. Go and take it. I have given it to you. Now they, they take the promises of God and they went, they started their journey. It might not be easy for them. It might be, there may be a lot of challenges on the way, but this is what God has said. And they have to believe the word of God and proceed in their journey. And now they've departed from the land of Egypt. They've been stand, they've been camping here for a while. God now said to Moses as their leader, depart and go up from here. Enough, enough, enough of you in, on this mountain. I want you to go now and possess the land that I've given you. Hallelujah. Remember, there are so many challenges on the way. The children of Israel, they do not, you know, they do not take the word of God. They rebel against the word of God. They do not believe the word of God. That is why so many of them die in the wilderness. So it's very, very important for us to believe the word of God. Whatever God says to us, whatever he says in his word, we must believe. We must have faith in the word of God so that we can reap the reward of, you know, of our faith. Even though our, our faith may face challenges, they definitely is going to be, there is going to be uh, uh, faith challenges on the way because it, it might look like it's not going to, you know, it's not going to happen or because I don't, we don't, we, we see something contrary to what God said. Because when the children of God left the land of Egypt, the word they saw on the way is different from what God has promised them. But that doesn't mean that they are not going to get to where God is taking them to. Amen. So Amen. I said to them, depart from here and go and possess the land that I've given to you. And I will send my angel before you. And I will drive out the Canaanite and the Amorite and the Etite and the Perizzite. So that means God is now promising them that, look, my angel is going to go ahead of you. So this year is about to run to an end. We thank God for being with us. Thank you for joining with us. Thank you for guiding us from the beginning of this year. And I believe we are getting to the end of this, this year and we will arrive to the end of this year safely in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. So the presence of God, the promise of God is very, very important in our Christian work. Because if, we, if the presence of God is not there, there is no, we, 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 are, we are discouraged. We don't know what to do. But if the promises of God is not there, we don't even know what to do. But when God promises us something, when God promises us his presence, that means we can trust in him that he will surely take us through. He will bring us to our expected end. Amen. So I'm going to go to verse 7 now. It said, Moses took his tent and pitched outside the camp, far from the camp, and called it the, uh, and called it the tabernacle of meeting. So Moses know how to go and meet with God, how to talk with God, how to, you know, pray. Like we come to the presence of God to pray. Amen. He go to the tabernacle of meeting to pray, to call, you know, to meet with God. And it comes to pass that everyone who saw the Lord went out to the tabernacle of meeting, which was outside the camp. So it was whenever Moses went out to the tabernacle that all the people rose and each man stood at his tent door and watched Moses until he had gone into the tabernacle. So only Moses could go enter the tabernacle, but the rest of them have to stand outside their own tent to watch Moses going in. Hallelujah. I pray as we go through this year, God will give us the strength to serve him, to know how to come to his presence, to pray unto him, to, you know, to, to meet with him. Because when we come together, it's to meet with the Lord. We are not coming to meet any man. We are coming we are gathering together to meet the Lord. And we believe that anytime we gather together, God will meet with us. And I pray that God Almighty will meet with us tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And it came to pass, when Moses entered the tabernacle, that the pillar of cloud descended and stood 
at the door of the tabernacle. And the Lord talked with Moses. Hallelujah. That is the presence of God. I pray that the presence of God will go with us to the end of this year and beyond in the name of Jesus. The presence of God is very, very important. He gives us peace in our Christian work. He gives us peace. He makes us to know that God is with us. Hallelujah. And he will go with us. He will not leave us alone in the name of Jesus. All the people saw the pillar of the cloud standing at the tabernacle door. And all the people rose and worshipped a man in his tent door. Hallelujah. So guarding of the people of God is very, very important. When we come together to pray, is very, very important because God will always move in the midst of his people. He always present in the midst of his people. So the Lord spoke to Moses face to face as a man speaks to his friends. And he would return to the camp. But his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, did not depart from the tabernacle. Our consistency is very, very important. I pray as we go through to the end of this year beyond, God will help us to be consistent in the things of God in the name of Jesus. We will not, we will not lay back, we will not lack uh, we will not lay back in the name of Jesus. God will give us the strength to press forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So these people, they come together. They, 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 their leader was there. Moses was there. And they all depart, you know, from the tabernacle. So now we are going to go to verse 12, where God, where we can see that Moses as a leader, even though God has promised them that he's taking them to a, a certain place. But that doesn't stop him from praying. Likewise, God might promise us something. That doesn't mean that we should fold our hands. We should not do anything again. Now, Moses said in verse, uh, in verse 12, he said, then Moses said to the Lord, see, you say to me, bring up these people, but you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yes, you have said, I know you by by your by your name uh, by name, and you have also found grace in my sight. God has promised him something. God said, "I know you by your name, and uh, you are going to take these people to the promised land." But give me the assurance of your presence that you are going to go with us in this journey. So, likewise, we can continue to ask God to continue yeah. to manifest Himself to us in our journey. When God promises us something, don't just say, oh, well, I'm waiting for the promises of God. Then you sit back and wait. No, you need to take action. You need to continue to move on. You need to continue to pray and seek the face of God more and more. And now in verse 13, he said, now therefore I pray, if I have found grace in your sight, show me your, your way that I may know you and that I may know you and that I may find grace, that I may find grace in your sight, and consider that this nation is your people. Amen. Now, Moses, now if it's true, true, you have you know, I have found grace in your sight. Show me your way. Now I need to know your way. We can continue to ask God for as long as we need. The, you know, he said, is any one of you lack wisdom? If you are going through any challenges, if you don't know, if you don't understand what is going on, we can ask for the wisdom, for discernment. God, what do you want me to know in this situation? What do you want me to know? How do you want me to go about it? And this is exactly what Moses is doing here. He continued to seek the face of God until he get the clear, you know, the clearance of what to do. And Moses now said, and he, and he said, my presence will go with you. That is God talking to Moses now. And I will give you rest. Hallelujah. God will give us rest in the name of Jesus. God will go with us in our journey this year coming. And he will give us rest in the name of Jesus. So these people, Moses continued to ask God, show me your way. And that's why in the book of uh, uh, Psalms, 
he said God show he, he, he show his way to Moses. The children know the children of Israel only know the miracle, miracle. We want to go beyond only miracle. We want to know the way of the Lord. How what does he want us to do? So those are the things that we need to ask God. It's good to have miracle, but at the same time, it's good to know the way of God. And that is what makes Moses and the children of Israel to be different. God, Moses know where to go to if there's anything that you need to know. If there's any challenges on the way, he knows where to turn to. And we must know where to turn to. I pray that God Almighty will give us the grace to be closer to him this year in the name of Jesus. The Amen. grace to know how to serve our God all utterly in the mighty name of Jesus. And he said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. I pray that God of the presence of God will go with us this year, 2022, and he will give us rest all around us in the name of Jesus. Then he said to him, if your presence does not go with us, do not bring us up from here because they are camping there and uh, he doesn't have the you know the, the the green light should we go or should we stay should we go or should we stay so now god said to them move i pray that god will move us beyond our limitation this year in the name of jesus god will move us beyond our our reasoning this year in the this year 2022 in the mighty name of jesus he will take us beyond our expectation. He will manifest himself in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Then for now, for our then, will it be known that your people and I have found grace in your sight? So the people of the world will know that we are serving a living God. We find grace in the sight of God. What am I saying here tonight is that when we pray according to the will of God, he hears us. The will of God for us is to prosper. The will of God for us is to be in good health. The will of God for us is to be victorious. The will of God for us is to be blessed. And God, the will of God in our life will manifest in the name of Jesus. Except Amen. go with us. So we shall be separate, your people and I, from all the people who are upon the face of the earth. I pray that God will single us out. God will manifest his glory in our life. He will separate us from the people of the world this year in the name of Jesus. He will show forth his glory in our life so that the people of the world will know that we are serving a living God, the God that answers prayer in the name of Jesus. Then verse 17 says, Then the Lord said to Moses, I will also do this thing that you have spoken, for you have found grace in my sight. And I know, and I know you by name. And he said, please show me your glory. God will show forth his glory in our life this year, 2022, in the name of Jesus. I'm going to stop there. But before then, we can see that now that God promised uh, the children of Israel and Moses was given the word, he was able to pass the word to people. Look, we are going in this journey. God is going to show forth his glory in our life. God is going to manifest himself in our life. But for the people to believe, not all of them believe the word of God. I pray that God will help us to believe his word for our life this year in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we are going to pray. This year, 2022, we are about to enter. We are going to pray that God Almighty, let your presence go with us. Let your presence go with us. We need your presence. Um, all the promises that you have for us. Father, we pray, Lord, that you will bring it to pass. You will, you, will, you will unfold the promises that you have for us in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray that prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, year 2022. Father, all the promises that you have for your church, that you have for your people, Father, we pray, Lord, that this year will be a year of manifestation in the name of Jesus. Let this year, 2022, that we're about to enter be a year of manifestation of your promises for our life in the mighty name of Jesus. The year that you will show forth your glory 
in the in, in the life of your people. Father, show forth your glory in our life. We want you to, to, to show your glory in our life, demonstrate your glory in our life, so that the people of the world will know that we are serving a living God. Father, show forth your glory in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, show forth your glory, Lord. Let the people of the world know that we are serving a living God, that we have a Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Father, show forth your glory, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. We are going to pray. Father, let your presence go with us. In the journey of year 2022, let your presence go with us. Shall we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, in the year 2022, Father, let your presence go with us, Lord. We need your presence. Every step that we take, every moment of our life, we need your presence, Lord. Father, we want you to show your presence in every step that we take in year 2022 in the name of Jesus. Give us rest all around us. Father, we pray, Lord, that you give us rest from every challenge, from every trouble around us. Father, give us rest, Lord. Father, give us rest in the name of Jesus. Let your presence go with us. In any area that we are troubled, Father, give us rest in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us your peace. We want your peace to reign in our heart. The peace that passes all understanding. Father, let your peace reign in our heart in the name of Jesus. Let your peace reign in our heart. Give us rest, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Give us rest, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We have a part to play, and I pray that we will not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We are going to look at um, uh, um, Proverbs chapter, uh, Proverbs chapter, chapter one, quickly before I run up, Proverbs chapter one, hallelujah. Proverbs chapter one. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. I will only take two verses. Um, I will read from 28. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 28. From 28. Then they will call on me, but I will not answer. They will seek me diligently, but they will not find me. Because they hated knowledge and did not keep the fear of the Lord. I pray that we have the fear of the Lord. We, we, we will not hate the knowledge. Because when we know something, when we have the knowledge of God, then God will always be there for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And they will call on me. So those are the people that I say, if the um, invest, um Quickly, I will read from uh, 20. He said, wisdom calls uh, aloud. Outside, the, outside, she raises her voice in the open squares. She cries out in the, in the chief concourse at the openings of the gate in the city. She speaks her words. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For uh, scorners delight in the, in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn to my reproof. Surely I will pour out my spirit on you. I will make my words known to you, because I have called you. I have called, and you refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no one regarded, because you disdained all my counsel. I will have none of my reproof. I also will laugh at, calami- at your calamity. I will mock when your terror comes. That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty will help us to serve him. We help us to be closer to him so that we will enjoy him in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, "Those don't wisdom always call out. Wisdom wants to, want, want to show us his counsel. The cancer that will help us, the cancer that will make us to, to be in a safe place, the cancer that will safeguard us, the cancer that will bless us. So in all this, 
when we listen, when we, when we take the knowledge of God, when we listen to the wisdom, then it will, it will give us, the, it will show us the way to go. But when we don't, he said, he himself, I also will laugh at your calamity. I pray that God Almighty will not laugh at our calamity in the name of Jesus. He will be there for us. He will answer us. I will mock when your terror comes. When your terror comes like a storm and your destruction comes like a whirlwind. When distress and anguish comes. Why is that? Then they will call on me. Because of what? Because they hated knowledge. I pray that we will not hate knowledge in the name of Jesus. We will be closer to God more than ever before in the name of Jesus. He said, they will have none of my cancer and despise all my reproof. Therefore, they shall eat the fruit of their own way and be filled to the full with their own fancies for the end, for the turning away of the simple will slay them. Amen. But listen. To me, but those that whoever listening to me will dwell safely. I pray that God will give us the year to listen to God, so that we can dwell safely in the year 2022 in the name of Jesus, and we be secure, and we will be secure in the hand of God in the name of Jesus, without fear of evil. You know, when we are in the hand of God, we will not fear of evil. We will have the confidence in our God that our God is there for us. God will give us the grace to be closer to him this year, 2022, that we are about to enter in the name of Jesus. We will be more closer to him. When we are closer to, you know, to God, God will always prove himself in our life. And that is verse 33. He said, but whoever listens to me will dwell safely. I pray that we will listen to God carefully this year 2022 in the name of jesus and we will be secure in his hand he will keep us safe without fear of evil i will need be only i i will do even though i pass through the the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me because god promised that he will be with us he will keep us safe as long as we listen to him as long as we we are close to him, he will keep us safe. He will not be afraid of any evil. We will not even be afraid of any evil tidings in the name of Jesus. We are going to round up there and say, God Almighty, give me hearing here to listen to you. This year, 2022, we are about to enter. Help me to be closer to you. Help me to walk with you. Those that walk with you, you never put them to shame. Father, you are 2022. Help me to be closer to you. Help me to be consistent in you in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray that prayer? Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Father, we commit year 2022 into your hand. We pray, Lord, that you help us to be consistent in you, to be, to, to, to be closer to you, to listen to you so that you can keep us safe, so that we can be secure in your hand, so that we, 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 we will not be afraid of any evil. We will have your fear in our heart. In the name of Jesus, when we have the fear of God in our heart, it means that we always be, want to be in his presence. We always want to pray. We always want to listen to him. We always want to study his word. That is the fear of God. I pray, Lord, that this year, God will put his fear in our heart so that we'll be able to do what we're supposed to do, so that we can enjoy his presence every day, every moment of our life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your holy name. Thank you for what you are. Thank you for what, what we have been able to do tonight. We thank you for your manifestation in our, in our midst tonight. Thank you for answer prayer. We thank you because we know that this year, 2022, your presence will go with us. You will manifest yourself in our life. You will give us rest in every area of our life in the name of Jesus, in any area that we are troubled. Father, give us peace in the name of Jesus. Help us to live, help us to be consistent in you in the mighty name of Jesus so that we can enjoy you, so that we can be where you, where you, where you want us to be in the name of Jesus. 
Father, help us to fear you in every moment, every second of our life, so that we can enjoy your benefits in every area of our life in the name of Jesus. Give us a hearing here and open our eyes to see clearly, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise mighty Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we listen to the announcements? This Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. is our prayer of automatic answer. 9 a.m. And in the evening at 9 p.m. is our prayer line. The end of the year prayer will start next week, Wednesday, which is 29th, and also 30th between 7 and 9 p.m. Invite as many people as possible online to join us to usher in the new year. And on the 31st is our uh, ushering to the new year, to, uh, 2022, from 9 p.m. to midnight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we share the grace? Oh, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God, God. and the right. fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Seven powerful. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you. And you too. Merry, Merry Christmas. And see you. Thank too. you. See you, man. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.